Today on Hard or Smart, we're looking at airmail for iOS. Hey, what's up, smarts? Happy Wednesday. I've looked at a lot of email apps for iOS, and I found that airmail is probably the best email app that you can find for your iPhone or iPad. So let me give you a demo on my iPhone. The thing about Airmail is that it holds so much functionality that it's hard to show it all in just one video, but I'll give it a try. First of all, let's go into settings. As you can see, you can add every possible mail account to Airmail. And then there's iCloud Sync, which allows you to sync your accounts and preferences across all your devices. And there is a lot to choose from. Looking at services, we see that integration is available for a huge number of productivity apps. In general settings, you can customize notifications, actions, swipes and snoozes. We will come back to that in a moment. And then there are all kinds of settings that you can use to adjust the appearance and to change the workflow. In the more advanced settings, you can set the default browser, and you can determine which size of attachments can be downloaded automatically if you want to use Touch ID protection and a lot more. In the Composer settings, you can set things like the default sender and how long you have to undo sending if you accidentally hit send. I think it's clear by now that Airmail is extremely customizable. Now, let's look at one of my email boxes. Almost all email apps use swiping left and right now, but Airmail just offers insane functionality. You can set up to four swiping levels, left and right. So that's a maximum of eight customizable swipes, right from your inbox. I use six swipes, and let me show you. When I swipe right, you see send to Evernote, move to trash, and move to archive. And when I swipe left, you see move to folder, snooze, and go to the action list. And all swipes are customizable in the general settings. Let me show you all the actions that you can choose from. As you can see, it's an unbelievable number. When you open an email, you can click the three dots in the upper right corner and this again opens the action list, but it only shows you the actions that you selected in general settings. And not only can you select your actions there, you can also place them in any order that you want. When you hit snooze, you can choose from seven different options. Again, you can adjust these options in general settings. For example, hitting tomorrow, will make this email snooze until tomorrow 9 a.m. But in general settings, you can change this time to any time you want. A very nice feature is that you can send your email to your calendar. When I choose the action send to calendar, it takes the subject line as the description for your calendar item and you can set the date and time. But the most beautiful thing is that Airmail also generates a unique URL for this email. And that means that you can always open this email right from your calendar. Let me show you. Let's set the date to the 3rd of June and the start time to 11 a.m. and the end time to 11.30. And then when we look in our calendar on the 3rd of June, we see this calendar item and we open it. We also see the URL for the email. And when we hit the URL, it takes us directly to this email in the Airmail app. In my daily practice, this is a very useful feature. So to wrap things up, here are some pros and cons for Airmail. The pros are Airmail is extremely customizable to your needs. It works really fast. It has fast email synchronization 
and it synchronizes settings between devices. And there is an awesome flexibility in handling incoming email. Think of all the swiping and the snoozing options. It integrates with a huge number of productivity apps. Believe me, I searched, but I couldn't find a lot of cons. The only one that I could think of is that because Airmail is so extremely customizable, you might find a large number of options confusing. And on the other hand, you don't have to use them. With standard settings, Airmail also works fine. I haven't showed you all of Airmail's features, but I tried to cover as much as possible while keeping this video relatively short. And although I showed you the iPhone version today, Airmail is not only available for iPhone, it's also available for iPad and for iMac. And that's it for today. I hope you like Airmail just like I do. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. To keep in touch, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and I appreciate it very much if you do so. You can also join the community and you can find all the details in the description below. And remember every day, you have the choice to do things the hard way or the smart way. Be smart and I will see you on the next one.